Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to design a calendar icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with I've got my new document open and I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a four-sided shape. This is going to be the outline for our calendar. I'm going to remove the fill that is white but we're going to keep the black stroke. And over in the stroke palette we're just going to increase the weight. And then I'm going to align the stroke. Well, let's round off those corners first a little bit. So we'll just click the rounded corner icon. And then I'm going to align the stroke to the outside. And I might round these just a little more actually. So these little anchor points here inside from the main ones, if you just drag those in, they will round off the corners for you. If you don't have a CC version of Illustrator, you can just go up to Effect, down to Stylize, Round Corners, Specify a Radius, and in the Appearance palette on the right, you will be able to modify this value or delete the effect altogether. However, if you are using a CC version of Illustrator or later, you can just select these circular anchor points and just drag those in to quickly and easily round corners. Okay, so we've created the outline for our calendar. We're now going to select our line segment tool and just holding shift, left click and drag to create a horizontal line. Now I'd recommend having your smart guides turned on. Just go up to view, down to smart guides and you should see that little tick there. This just helps when positioning elements as you will see that these pink guides will help immensely when snapping objects together. And we can just use the direct selection tool here just to select this endpoint and just drag that across. I'm just going to thicken up the stroke around my calendar. And we're going to select the ellipse tool. I'll left click and hold shift to create a perfect circle. Now you can see here it's remembered the 28 point stroke. So we don't want that. So we're just going to decrease the weight of this and the size as well actually. So we're going to hold Alt and Shift to scale towards the center. And then just bring this down a little bit. And we want to make sure that this is central above the calendar. This is going to be a pin that is holding the calendar up on a wall. So if we just drag over everything with our selection tool and up here you'll see the alignment options, just click horizontal align center and you'll see that it nudges this into place so that they are all aligned centrally. And we can now select our pen tool, zoom in a little bit, and we're just going to find the center here, maybe off center actually. We'll just click anywhere on this path and then hold shift to make sure it is at a 45 degree angle. Then we'll draw one bit of string there to hold up our calendar. And you can draw it again with the pen tool, or you can select this shape, hold Alt and Shift, and drag across to create a copy. Go up to Object, Transform, Reflect, and reflect this along the vertical axes. Click OK, and you'll see that it flips it around for you. And you can just shuffle that into position. Now again, what we can do is just select just those top three elements. We'll group those together by going to Object and then Group. Now this is all one group, so as we drag it around, it's one element together. So we can select everything again and just click Horizontal Align Center just to check that it is all still in the center. Okay, so now we're going to create the days on our calendar. So we'll just select our rectangle tool and depending on the month that you're going to be creating, or just a generic month, we're going to be having seven columns and four rows. So if we just left click and hold shift to create a perfect square, and we'll swap the fill and the stroke, so we have no outline, but we have a solid black fill. What we can do now is left click this shape, and the really quick way of doing this is holding Alt and Shift to create a copy as we did before, like so. But before we press anything else after completing that action, 
press Command D on the Mac or Control D if you're on PC, and it will repeat that last action. So there we go, it's created that entire row for us quickly and easily. And what we can do again is go up to Objects and Group. So now this row is all grouped together and just select everything and go up to the Alignment options and select Horizontal Align Center and it will nudge that into the middle. So this is just a really good thing to do if you are centering a lot of items or objects together just to group the relevant pieces together and then just keep centralizing them just to check that everything is still central if it needs to be. So now what we can do is we can do the same with this group. We can left click, hold Alt and Shift, drag down and repeat that last action. And there we go. It's drawn all of our calendar days for us. And we can group all of these together now. Just make sure that we don't select the outside box. So to deselect that, you can hold Shift and left click. And you'll see here now that the bounding box is contained just to these shapes here in the middle. So we can go to Object and Group. And now we can freely click and drag all of these around without needing to select each one individually. And we'll drag that down here into position. Might just shorten the bottom of the calendar a little bit actually. What we can do now is, although this is one group, we can still edit the squares or the calendar days individually if we need to. So for example, if this is a, a month where you only have 30 days and not 31, you may want to select the direct selection tool, click here to select this bottom right shape, make sure you have the fill selected, and we're going to pick a different color. So this is really to show the previous month or the next month coming, depending on what day of the week it starts on. So we're just going to show these as being part of the, the next month. So then all of these black calendar days, these are the ones that are relevant to the month we're in. And now we're just going to add a bit of color. So if we just select our rectangle tool, create another four-sided shape, we're going to go over to our swatches palette, double click any swatch, and select the global box, tick preview, and just find a color that you like. This is going to be for the header of our calendar, and I'm going to go with a certain shade of red. And we'll just drag this in position like this, fill that space, and then go to Object, Arrange, Center Back. And then what I'm going to do is left click, go up to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, drag down until it snaps. So I'm taking half of the height away. And then in the swatches palette with our color still selected, I'm going to go up to the color guide, select a darker swatch here. You'll see it pre-populates darker and lighter versions of the same color. And then again, I'm going to go to object, arrange, center back and then arrange and just bring forward and it should bring it in front of the lighter red like so and one last thing I'm going to do to finish this off is with the direct selection tool is just pick any day in the calendar and this is going to be the current day and I'm just going to make that the same shade of red as up here And one last thing actually, I'm just going to give this a background color because at the moment the calendar is white. So if we give the background a slight bit of color, it will just help that white stand out a little bit more. So with the rectangle tool, just create any four sided shape, drag it out so it fills the entire artboard. Go up to object, arrange, center back. And then what you can do is just pick a color from your swatches on the right. I've gone with a, a light gray there. 
you can go up to object and lock and selection and it will lock this background layer so we can't select it by mistake and then we're going to select one of these rectangles go to edit copy edit paste in place and just shuffle this down and drag this down so it fills the main calendar body space select a color of white as the fill go up to object arrange note some of these shortcuts so we're going to send this to the back and then we're going to go to object arrange and bring forward there's the shortcut for it and you can bring this forward until it does sit in front of the background but behind everything else and then what we can do is select everything all together go up to object and group and then we can move our shape around freely as we need to and there we go we've designed a calendar icon in adobe illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time